Okay guys, so in this second exercise with Rust, we are supposed to calculate a gigasecond and as explained in this little readme, a gigasecond is basically well, 10 to the 9th seconds after something or like that's a gigasecond basically. If unsure what operation you can perform on daytime UTC, take a look at the chrono crate. Yeah. So basically what I understood from reading this is that Rust does not as of now have its own time library. So that there is basically this external crate called the chrono crate that contains some functionality that we can import into our project. And here's a bit of a description of, you know, the regular stuff, right? But we basically, our, our goal, goal is to calculate the moment when someone has lived for a gigasecond. And if we look at our little TOML file here, the cargo TOML file, the, the, you can see that this is where it, like this is where Rust basically stores all of its dependencies. And we are depending on this crate called Chrono, which allows us to import this as an external crate. If we look at my, my test file here, now I have well, removed all the ignores because only if you're doing this you should see that it's only the first test that is actually implemented and the other ones are ignored. But you can see here that we are ex we are depending on an external crate called Chrono and then we simply use the, like, so we don't have to do this prefix thing, the time zone and the UTC crates or the modules if you will. And here we have all our different tests right now if I run my tests you can see down here that they are all passing and the way that I solved it was that I kind of first I felt that all right it seems that we're gonna use this external little library here but let's just look at it, it was actually fairly it was fairly straightforward it took me just a moment to kind of figure out what was going on here so I have this function right that takes in a struct of the date time type with a UTC generic, it looks like. And the idea here is that I basically have to, with this time, this start struct, figure out how long from that point somebody has, like, give, basically give back a date time struct that has a new date where the uh, where you I have applied a gigasecond. And the way that I did this was this way. Like, I take, I just use a plus. And then there's this module called the duration inside of the chrono package that has this function seconds. And then I basically just gave this, like this is kind of cool I thought actually. I was doing this first like without the underscores. But then I actually had a look and I'll show you where I found this because there was this little link in the readme which linked to the chrono documentation and I just kind of skimmed through it. And then I found this little gem down here which is under the arithmetic operations comment. And I saw that okay so I have this assert equals macro and the, there's some date being declared here and then there's a plus and duration colon colon seconds and I kind of saw this little line here and I figured yeah okay cool this seems to be straight straightforward like I basically just add together the start date with the with a million a billion seconds added onto that start and that worked so now all my tests are passing and I'm ready to go to the next challenge and I will see you in the next video